Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a website on GitHub Pages. So with GitHub Pages, you can upload websites for free, but it has to be a static website. So by static, I mean you are not using a server like Python with Flask or Django or Ruby on Rails or Node.js with Express. You are just using plain old HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So here you can see I have my website. It's a personal website that I made for this tutorial. And this is the index.html. This is the main page. And if I click on this link, it will take me to the about page. And if I click on the link here, it will take me back to the main page. So with your website, you want to make sure that you have an index.html because that will be the landing page. So here's my source code. I have an index.html and and about the HTML and also my CSS. So make sure you have an index.html because that will be the page that your website will land once you load it. All right, so once your code is ready, just create a GitHub account. If you already have one, log in. So once you've logged in, create a new repository. So here, we're going to create a new repository, clicking this button. And for your repository name, this will depend on what kind of website you are trying to host. Is it a personal website or is it some project website? For example, a game. Maybe it's a game tutorial that you followed on my channel. So if it's a personal website, you want it to be something like your username. So in my case, my username is I'm Kenny Yip. So you want it to be your username dot github dot io. So you want it to be in this format. So on GitHub, this will be your landing page for your personal website. Now, if you are not uploading a personal website, then you can name it whatever you want. So in this case, because it is my personal website, I'm going to leave it as that. But if you're uploading a game or a web project that is not your personal website, you can name it something else. So let's say if I made a 2048 clone, I would just name it 2048 like that. All right, so I'm going to leave it as that. And then you can leave everything else blank. You can add a readme if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to click create repository. All right, so from here, if you have Git, you can use Git to push your code into this repository, or you can just open up your folder and highlight your files and just upload via drag and drop. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then again, just make sure you have your index.html, and now I'm going to click Commit Changes. So after you've uploaded your files, just go to Settings. Over here, go to Pages. And then you want to select source. So I guess here my site is already ready, but yours would probably say none. So click on source over here, click your branch. It'll probably be master or main. Click that one and then click save. And then you can see, you'll see this pop up. Your site is ready to be published at I'm Kenny Yip .github .io for me, or in your case, it'll be your username .github .io. So if you click on this, you can see uh, I have my web page already hosted. And to show you a website that is not my personal website, so it uses a different repository name, for instance, this uh, game of 2048 that I made. I also have a tutorial on that on my YouTube channel, so uh, feel free to check it out. I just need to do the same thing, go to settings, click on pages, and in here, source, I click on this, master branch, or main branch, depending on what yours says. And I click save. And then you can see the link is a bit different in that it shows my username.github.io slash repository name. Okay, so that's just the difference uh, between the two, your personal website and which would be your landing page and your other project websites. So you can see here, it hasn't uploaded yet, but don't panic, you just need to wait like a minute or two and it will show up. And here we have it. We have the 2048 game uploaded. And of course I can play it. And yeah, so that's how you upload your website onto GitHub pages. So here you can see I have my personal website hosted. Uh, just one more thing. And that is if I click on this link, it'll take me to the about page and you can see we have about the HTML. And if I click on the link back, it will give me index.html. 
So this doesn't really affect functionality, but it does look a bit unprofessional and a bit ugly. So we can do something to remove the file extension from our URL links. So to do that, just go to your source code and here we have a link to about.html, just remove the extension. So we're going to do dot slash about, just remove the dot HTML. And here we are going to remove index.html because index.html is the landing page. You do not need the whole thing. You just need the slash. Okay. All right. So after removing the file extensions, if I open up the files locally and I click on a link, you can see I get an error. So this error only happens locally, but on GitHub pages, it will automatically convert your about to about the HTML. So all you need to do is just drag and drop your changes, or you can use Git and then commit your changes. And then give it like a minute or two and it will update. All right, so it's been about a few minutes and if I refresh the page and I click on the link, you can see we no longer see the extension and I can click back and you can see we don't have the slash index.html, okay? And if you do not see these changes after a few minutes, try clearing the cache in your web browser and that should do it. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Hopefully you were able to successfully host your website on GitHub pages. And if you were able to do so, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I also have video tutorials on game programming projects uh, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on my channel. So please uh, check those videos out as well. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.